Okay, so uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, everybody. So uh, we are into the fourth day of uh, the, se the session on construction management in BIM with project management, uh, organized by Department of Civil Engineering uh, of CV Gadashira College of Engineering in association with BIM Labs Engineering Services Private Limited. Okay, so uh, myself, I am Vishnu. I am working as a technical engineer in BIM Labs. Okay, so today uh, we will be discussing a new tool called as Primavera. Okay, so I will start to share my screen, okay? Okay. So is my screen is visible? Yeah, 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 visible. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so hope you have uh, all downloaded the software. Okay, so when you have downloaded the software, you can just search as P6 uh, in the search box, okay? So the app will be popping up, popping up here, okay? You can just click on that. Okay. So uh, before starting, I will just uh, give a brief introduction of uh, what actually Primavera is, okay? So Primavera is actually a project portfolio management software and it was developed by Primavera Systems in 1983, okay? So later on in uh, 2018, the Primavera software uh, was acquired by Oracle, okay? So also today it is uh, actually known as Oracle Primavera, okay? So right now I am using the uh, P6 version of uh, Primavera, okay? So I will just brief uh, what we are actually uh, going to do uh, in today's session, okay? So, okay. So just like I said, uh, Primavera is an enterprise project portfolio management software, and it was uh, launched by Primavera Systems in 1983. Okay, later on it was acquired by Oracle Corporation. Okay, so this so software is uh, generally used to plan, track, and estimate the time and budget required for a project. Okay, so whatever a type of organization is, whether it can be a construction firm or an IT firm, they'll be handling a lot of projects. Okay, so if and only if they pro if and only if they properly plan and budget their uh, project they can uh, execute uh, that particular project in a specific time period and uh, in a low cost budget okay so this particular software is mainly used for project portfolio management okay so we will be discussing uh, about the various aspects of this software based on a sample uh, work okay sample project okay so uh, okay the, i will just show that uh, workbook uh, that we are going to use today okay so here we are having a sample project and a sample organization okay so we'll be going deep into this uh, workbook later on okay so i will just start uh, so this is the uh, interface that will be popping up when you uh, when you have installed the software okay so the first thing that you will have to do here is that you will have to create a database uh, for your organization okay so whatever the organization is they have to first create a database. So all the project data that you are creating will be stored into that particular database, okay? So at default, there will be a database here, okay? So if you have to create a new database, what you'll have to do is, you'll have to just click on this database option here, okay? There is a three dots here, just click on that, okay? And here, as you can see, I have created a lot of databases, okay? So databases are nothing but they are just files in which uh, the information that you are entering into the software are being stored, okay? So for this particular session, I'm uh, going to create a new database so that you will be understanding how to create a new database, okay? So when you're starting. So in order to create a new database, what you'll have to do is you'll have to just click on this add button here, okay? Okay, so here, uh, database alias. So database alias means you have to provide a specific name for your database, okay? So I am just randomly, randomly giving a name for that, for the database, okay? Okay, I am just giving this random name here. And the driver type, you'll have to select it as P6 Pro standalone SQLite, okay? So I have selected this driver type here, clicking on next. So here I am creating a new database, okay? So here uh, there are two options for me. One is add a, new, add a connection to an existing standalone database and a, or add a new standalone da database and connection. Since I am creating a new database here, okay? I have to choose the second option, okay? Clicking on next. Okay, 
So each and every time I am uh, entering into the Primera interface, I like to provide a login name and password. Okay, if and only if provide the login name and password, I can enter into my database. Okay, so here I am just giving the login name as my name. Okay, personal name also you can provide the same, and you can just enter a password. Okay. So this particular password you should not be uh, forgetting. Okay, you you will be needing this particular password when you are entering into the software. Okay, clicking on next. Okay, so here uh, they are showing the location in which the database uh, will be stored. Okay, so you can click on this file option here, and you can set the location in which this particular database will be stored. So at default it will be stored under documents. Okay, so if you want you can provide a name for the uh, file database file okay so i'm just randomly naming as as we see okay click on save so there is an option here load sample data okay so when i check on this particular data when i'm entering into the database they will be showing a sample organization structure uh, sample designations and all so that we actually don't require here so i'm just checking off load sample data here okay so when you are doing also We'll have to uh, check off this uh, load sample data option. Okay. After that, I'm clicking on next. Okay. So our uh, database has been created. Okay. So once uh, it has been done, you can click on the finish button. Okay. So next time onwards, when you are uh, selecting, you'll have to select this particular database that uh, you have created. So here, the database name that I provided was database SVC. Okay. I'm selecting this particular database and here I will have to enter the login name as well as the password that I provided. Okay. So I am entering the login name that I provided, same as my name. Okay. I'm entering the password. Okay. So after that, I can click on OK. Okay, the appropriate industry for your organization ha has not been uh, selected in an admin preferences. Please contact your administrator. This you can click on OK. Okay. Okay, so this is the uh, initial interface of Primavera software. Okay, so this particular view is known as the table view, and this particular view is known as the Gantt chart view. Okay, and this is the detail view. Okay, so we'll be discussing about all these three views uh, in the uh, coming portions okay so uh, the first thing that i would like to do when i open the primary inter interface is first i would like to set up a organization here okay so so you all are working in sri vengada sri college of engineering right so you your organization will be also having a particular section okay there will be uh, at the top uh will be there will be your college okay under that there will be different departments and sub departments and there will be people working on different departments and sub departments okay so similarly here also for every organization they allow to first create their uh, enterprise structure okay so in order to create an enterprise structure what you have to go uh, what you have to do is that you can go to the enterprise menu so this particular uh, this particular tab that you can see here is known as menus okay file edit view all these are menus so in order to create an organization you have to go to enterprise and go to enterprise project structure Okay, so at default there will be a sample enterprise here. Okay, so this you can rename. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is that I will be providing the name of my organization here and I will be creating my organization structure here. Okay, so I'm naming the enterprise name as BIM Labs. Okay, and I can provide an ID for the organization. Okay, just for identification purpose. So I'm just entering BML as ID. Okay, now I will have to create the hierarchy of various departments and sub departments in my organization. Okay. So in order to create a new line, what you can do is you can just click on this add button here. Okay. Can I uh, do the same? Or can I repeat it? Whatever you do? Yeah, yeah. You can do when I'm doing so. Okay. So I will be uh, going a little bit slow then. Yes, okay. Boom, boom. So after after creating the organization name on the top, I will have to create the different departments. Okay. So 
for our, our organization, the departments are like, well, first one is training department. Uh, huh? uh, Vishnu, uh, by default, uh, in my uh, display uh, in Primavera software, by default, there's some sort of uh, uh, template is there, like energy manufacturing, production, corporate IT. Uh, that, that's because you didn't uh, check off the load sample data option that I, I do mentioned, right? I have opened that uh, directly. Oh, uh, okay. So whether I should delete that or... Uh, so you can uh, just close the software again and create the database again with load sample data off. Oh, okay. One second. Okay. Is, is it possible that we can create a new, right? Uh, new... Uh, yeah, you can create a new database. Ah, we can do that. You can just close and I will just uh, guide you so you can just close the software and reopen it again. One second. Ah. Database. Uh, ah, database. Uh, you can go to the three dots. Okay, three dots option there. One second. You can one add a new yeah, database. I will share my screen now. Okay, okay. Ah, yeah. So I should be stop sharing, right? No, no, no. Uh, is it visible now? No, no, no. No, okay. I think you can share only after I uh, turn Exit. off my okay, okay, okay. I will stop sharing, okay. Okay, sir, I have stopped sharing. Yeah, is it visible now? One second, sir. Yeah, it's visible. So once I uh, click that uh, configuration. P6 Pro standalone SQLite, okay. Add, Add a new, new connection. No, no, second option. Add a new standalone database and yeah, connection. That, yeah, click there, yeah. Click on next. Next. And so, uh, you can I provide have... the login name as uh, your name itself. Okay. Yeah. And this uh, is for particular have... configuration, like database configuration. We need to uh, log in using that. Uh, uh, this particular, uh, your login name and password. Okay. 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 So okay, you can click on next. And here you can set the location of the database in which it will be stored. So I'm storing here. Uh, okay. So I'm mean, going to create a new folder. Uh. I'm aware of it. Okay, you can store it. You can provide a name, sir. My name, okay. Save? Yeah. No, no, no. You will have to check out sa load sample data. Check out. Ah, yes. okay. Save. Save? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now so close. Can yeah. I close? Oh. Yeah. Now from the database, you will have to select the database. Ah, it, it, ah that it itself, I think. Ah, uh, how do I select this thing? Ah, it's already selected, I think. Uh, this is also, I mean, it is only there in previous. Uh, ah, yeah, that's I think the default. Just enter your uh, password there, login name and password. Oh, login name password will differ. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So go to enterprise. Uh, enterprise. Yeah, it yeah. Is, now it's yeah, default. Okay. 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 Yeah. So every time we do project, we need to do this, right? Uh, database. Uh, no, 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 no. Once you create one database for your organization, that's enough. You can do okay. all your projects in the same database. Oh, same database. You can do you multiple can do, projects. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. This is for organization. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Can I stop sharing? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll stop. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, so it's visible right now, right? Yeah, 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 visible. Okay. So here you can create the uh, structure of your organization. At the top, I have provided the name name of my company and the diff different departments. So, so the first one is training department and I'm giving a sample ID for that, like PD. 
okay next the project department okay we providing ideas pd and next uh, have the trilax department which sell the software okay and then the bridge which is the placement division what do you mean by trilax i keep is a department like different department of our company that's all oh okay so you can if you want you can create your organization structure like your college name at the top the, the different departments and sub departments like that otherwise you can provide the same no, uh, no id we can provide any number right uh, it's like, called id but why do we need to enter yeah, any that's just for identification like it's just like a short short for your uh, name uh, okay. department any uh, number we can give right any number yeah a number is also i think possible okay once again i will i'm doing my uh, my thing okay sir uh, everything should be in capital letter right no oh. it can be small letter no issue fine okay that's it uh, okay it so okay oh, yeah fine yeah yeah so if you are if you are having sub departments also you can add that okay just select a particular department you can click on add add option here so a new line will be added so in order to adjust a hierarchy you can just use these arrow keys so that you can add it like a sub department like this okay so i am yeah. not doing that right now so i just uh, told you just for information okay so these are the various department that i added okay so once you uh, have created the enterprise project structure you can just click this particular wizard okay okay so the next thing that you will have to do is you have to create the obs okay obs means organization breakdown structure okay so in an organization there can be different de uh, designations like ceo project manager project engineer planning engineer design engineers like that okay so there will be a particular hierarchy that will be connecting all of these people okay so the next thing that you have to create is the hierarchy that connects all the designations just like uh, as you can see in the screen okay so here we are having a organization at the top okay under the organization we have uh, having project manager under him we are we are having project engineer under project engineer we have structural engineer map engineer architect architect design engineer like that okay under design engineer we are having civil draftsman and electrical draftsman okay so similarly you can create uh, the obs okay so in order to create the obs what you have to do is you have to go to the enterprise menu here and here we are having obs okay so at default it will be uh, blank there will be an enterprise at the top so here i am naming giving the name of my organization as bim labs okay so under bim labs we are having like project manager at the top okay so i am adding a new line here in order to add an obs element the filter will be changed to display all obs elements this you can click on okay okay and you can name the first position here i am adding project manager and i can provide the name as well okay project manager john okay next under under him we are having project engineer kiran okay clicking clicking on add option here so this particular person that i am adding should be coming under the project manager so in order to adjust hierarchy 
you can make use of these arrows here okay so the next person is project engineer Under project engineer, we have we are having structural engineer Francis, uh, MEP engineer Alan, architect Adulia, and design engineer Ashok. Okay, so I'm adding all of these people. First one is structural engineer Francis. Okay, clicking on the add button in order to adjust the hierarchy. I'm using this arrow here. Okay. Next, MAP engineer Alan. Next, we are having uh, architect Adulia. Design engineer Ashok. Okay. So under design engineer Ashok, we are having two draftsmen. One is civil draftsman Rahul and electrical draftsman Anish. Okay. Clicking on the add button. Under project manager, you have project engineer. Uh, under yeah. project engineer only, you are having this much uh, structural uh, MEP. Okay. Yeah, okay. structural MEP, architect, and design engineer. Okay. Under design engineer, we have draftsmen, like civil draftsman and mechanical, I think. Uh, civil draftsman and electrical draftsman. Okay. 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 Next, we are having a, another design engineer. One whose name is, uh, uh, one is actually, I forgot to add a, a project engineer under a project manager. So that you can uh, create and adjust the hierarchy using the arrows. Um, but when I create that hierarchy using, yeah, when I create at a project manager level, uh, I can I click add, it is coming under uh, mm. somewhere below uh, architect. You can move that, uh, I think. But when I move that, it is coming under the same level, uh, like project oh. manager. How do I... Um, I think you will have to delete that and create it again, sir. Okay, I found out a way. Uh, okay. I have to go right and I have to go up. Uh, like that. Then I, it's coming actually. Uh, okay. Okay, you can go ahead. Uh. Okay, sir. Okay. Next, we are having another design engineer, Gita. Should be in the same level as this particular design engineer here. Okay. Clicking on add button and moving this arrow. Okay. Under design engineer Gita, we are having a mechanical draftsman Sham. Okay. Okay. 
and we have site engineer at the same level as that of the design engineers okay on the add button okay site engineer binoy uh site engineer on the same level like uh, yeah, yeah coming under actually oh, coming okay. under project engineer okay all these people like uh project engineer like uh, uh so sector engineer mep architect design engineer yeah, are on the same engineer. level uh. Uh, design engineer are the same level uh, like project engineer right or project engineer, manager no 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 design engineers are coming under project engineer like oh. no in your uh, ah yeah yeah Yes. No, they are like the same level. Under, pro under project engineer, we are having all these people. But design engineer is under actually project engineer. Okay, okay. Project engineer. Okay, okay. okay. After design engineer, who, who is coming? Uh, like first uh, one, right? Electrical draftman and civil draftman. Uh, combine that uh, both. Is, no, yeah, I'll combine that. Mechanical draftman. Site engineer. Uh, site engineer, yes. Okay. Under site engineer, we are having supervisors like site supervisors, Hashim, Maya, and Sharon. We are having three supervisors actually. Site supervisor Maya, site supervisor Sharon, and site supervisor Hashim. So are you finished, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm finished. Okay, sir. Okay, so once you uh, create the OBS, you can just click click on the close button here. Okay. So the next thing that you have to create for your organization is the calendar. Okay. So each and every organization will be having uh, their own calendars. Okay. They will be having their own work schedule, like from what time the work start and at what time the work finish finishes and the working hours like some organization will be having eight hours working schedule some will be having nine hours working working schedule like that okay also there will be difference in their holidays okay some uh, for some companies there will be uh, saturdays as holidays okay for some companies it will be like saturdays will be working okay so just like that you will have to create an a, a sample calendar for your organization okay so that particular cal calendar will be follow followed for all your projects okay so in order to create the calendar, you can go to enterprise and calendars. Enterprise calendars. Okay. Okay. So at default, there will be four calendars here. Okay. That is standard five day work week calendar. Okay. And then there will be seven day work week calendar for four 10 hour days work week calendar, 37.5 hour work week calendars like that. Okay. So all these are default calendar that we cannot use. Okay. So for our organization, we'll have to create a new calendar. Okay. So for that, I'm clicking on the add button here to create a new calendar. Okay. So when I'm creating a new calendar, I will be uh, first taking a copy of a default calendar here. Okay. So for example, if uh, my organization BIM Labs is having a six day work week calendar in which 
monday to saturday it will be working sunday will be holiday like that i what i can do is that i can just take the copy of a standard five day work week calendar and convert it to a six day six day work week calendar just by editing it okay so i'm selecting the standard five day work week calendar here okay and i am naming my calendar as six day eight hour calendar okay Okay. So the next thing that I have to do is I have to modify this calendar that I created. Okay. This is actually a five-day work week calendar that I took a copy from. Now I will have to edit that in order to convert it to a six-day work week calendar. Okay. So in order to edit this calendar, what we can do is you can go to the modify option here. Okay. I'm going to the modify option. Just like you can see here. This is the calendar, okay. So I am going to the January month here. As you can see here, this particular calendar is actually a five-day work week calendar, okay, in which uh, Saturday and Sundays are off, okay. So in order to make it a make it make it a six-day work week calendar, what I like to do is I like to make the Saturdays as working, okay. So in order to do that, what you can do is you can go to the work week option here, okay. Work week option here, as you can see here. From Monday to Friday, the working hours has been set as eight hours. Okay. On Sunday and Saturday, the working hours has been set as zero, since it is four days. Okay. So in order to convert the Saturdays into working days, what you can do is you can just enter the total number of working hours in Saturdays. Okay. So I'm entering it as eight. Clicking on OK. As you can see, that all the Saturdays have been converted into working days. So imagine that in your organization, the second Saturday Saturdays are holidays. Okay. So in order to convert certain second Saturdays into holidays, what you can do is uh, you can just select that particular uh, okay not here. You have to go to detail working hours per day here. Okay. Here you can uh, set the working hours in a particular day. Okay. Like as you can see here, the working hours has been set as from eight to Five. Okay. Uh, there are, uh, can I? Once again. So okay. once I click the calendar, uh, it is coming like a standard five-day work week. Um, we have to modify that, uh, right? Directly. No, no. You have to not. You, you should not be modifying it directly. You should be first clicking on the add option. Add button, and yes. then we need to Set. modify that standard uh, five-day work. Five-day work week calendar. Yes. Uh, we need to press select or uh, what? Yeah, you can press select or just double click. Uh, selected uh, it is creating a new one in uh, yeah, yeah. calendars. you can name it as a uh, six day work week calendar okay six day week six day eight hours calendar if you're following a eight hour schedule okay six day Just like eight this. hours calendar and we need to tick that uh, button uh, in the checkbox that you can do after we creating the calendar or now itself you can do no issue okay okay and then we need to modify right yeah yeah you will have to select the calendar modify and you can and huh. we need to set the work work hours per day as yeah day. like if you're following okay. in nine hours you can set it as nine fine fine okay and then uh, whatever you said uh, okay. yeah yeah so in your calendar it's actually a five day work week calendar right yes so in order to convert it to a six day work week calendar you will have to make saturdays as working days yeah. okay in order to do that what you can do is you can come to the work week work option week. here yeah okay. here you can set the Select working the, hours for okay. each and every day so for Saturdays, okay. you'll have to enter it as eight. Right. And click on OK after that. Time period. Yeah. After that, you can come to detailed work hours per day. Yeah. Detailed work hours per day. And you can set the eight hour schedule here. OK. From mm -hmm. what time the work should start and what should be the lunch break and at what time the work should finish. This here at default, you can see it as like from eight to five, okay, right. And they have provided 12 to one as lunch break. If you want to make any changes to this, you can do that. Okay, for that, what you can do is, uh, for example, imagine that in your organization, you are following nine to six, okay, with uh, one to two as lunch break. So in order to do that, first you'll have to make eight to nine as non-working. Okay, so I'm making 
8 8 to 9 as non working okay if my organization uh, they are starting at 8 o'clock then it is okay right uh, i don't ah, it's to okay you will not you will yeah. not do, uh, okay. you will not oh, have okay. to do that so. yeah. now so for a break we need to uh, allocate uh, that time as that's... non work non yeah, work yeah 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 non work okay work this are working so in order to make it 8 hours you can add additional hour here okay set so total it will be 8 hours working yes okay so the same thing you have to do for all days not just this particular day so for that what you can do is you can go to work week option here and here you will have to select all the days from monday to saturday okay now we will have to edit it to change that for all the days for sunday we shouldn't select right no 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 sunday is holy day right Ah, oh, Sunday is all day. We should select only that six days. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Only this six okay. days only. Okay. Now you should be editing it. Oh. So it will be changed to all the days. After that, you can click on OK. Right. okay now the next thing that you will have to do is you have to add the holidays okay in order to add holidays you can come to total working hours per day and you can select the holiday so first you should be starting from january so you can enter what are the various holidays in january so i am making uh, 20, january 26 as holiday since it is republic day okay so i am making it non working so i'm selecting the next month should be selecting a particular day make, making it non working okay so for the end year you'll have to select all the holidays and make it as non working okay so i'm just randomly selecting the holidays here okay okay so this is how you set your calendar okay once you have set your calendar you can click on the okay button here okay now for now onwards i will be uh, scheduling all my project based on this particular calendar that i created okay so i have to make this as my default calendar okay okay sir yeah 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 okay once you created that you can click on the course button here okay so till now what we have done is we have created the structure of our organization here under enterprise project structure okay and we created the organization breakdown structure here how various designation in our organization are distributed in the obs okay after that we created the calendar okay okay so the next thing that i am going to do is i am going to add a new project okay i'm going to add a new project that is coming under project department okay so in order to add a new project what you can do is that you can click on the file option here okay file new okay so a window like this will be popping up here okay so the first thing that you will have to select here is you have to select under which department this particular project will be assigned to okay so imagine that the project is about the construction of an auditorium okay 
so the project will be allotted to the project department right okay so from the select eps option i will have to select project department okay now i am clicking on next here i should be providing the name and id for my project okay so imagine that it is the construction of an auditorium okay so i am naming the project as auditorium project and you can provide an id for the project okay so i am providing it as aum clicking on next okay and here you should be providing a project plan start okay at, at what date on what date you are going to uh, start this particular project okay so i am providing a uh, providing the start date as uh, april 1st okay. after that clicking on next here you can uh, assign a particular uh, person for uh, as the you can assign a particular person as a responsible manager for the project okay so the person who will be handling this project will be assigned as the responsible manager for the project so i am selecting the project manager as the responsible person for this particular project okay clicking on next so these and all you can skip okay and click on finish okay so a new project has been added to project department okay so similarly a different project comes and it is coming under a different department you can uh, once again I wish add it. Should, uh, uh, should i uh, give the plan to start as, yeah yeah uh, uh, yeah, January first or any any duration. Like, like on what date you are able to start the project? Like construction. Okay. On what date you are starting the project? You can provide can it I as a fix it as uh, January first of. Oh, you can select whatever day. Like. Okay, must be finished by. Should should be. No, no, no. You should not be providing that because you will be providing that only if you have a deadline or something like that. Okay, uh, responsible manager. Uh, what like, we have created in the OBS, right? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Anyone? You should be selecting a person as the responsible manager. Okay. He will be having the full responsibility of the project. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next. Uh, rate type is price per unit. That is fixed. Yeah, yeah. Rate. That's okay. Then okay, fine. Yeah, created. Okay. Okay. Now the next thing that you'll have to do is. So when you're planning a project first you should be dividing the project into different stages okay so as uh, i will show the data book here okay so our project that is the construction of the auditorium has been divided into different projects like different stages like this okay so the first stage is project initiation second stage is receipt of information third stage is design stage and under design stage, we are having two sub stages. Okay, preparation and submission of drawings and review and approval of drawing. Okay, then we are having worksheet facility, civil. Okay, under civil works, we are having different uh, sub stages like site work and grading, foundation, brick work, concrete, interior, exterior. And under uh, building services, we are having electrical, mechanical, plumbing, others. And finally, we are having the landscaping. Okay. So for simplifying the project, we'll be first dividing the project into different stages and sub stages like that. Okay. So each and every stage and sub stages in Primavera is called as WBS or work breakdown structure. Okay. So in order to create the work breakdown structure, you can uh, go to projects menu, projects menu, WBS. Okay. So at the top we can see the project okay now we'll have to divide this project into different stages and sub stages okay so the first stage here is uh project initiation and you can assign a particular person as the responsible manager for a particular stage like project initiation has been assigned to project manager receipt of information has been assigned to project engineer design stage has been assigned to design engineer like that for each and every stage and sub stages uh, you can assign a particular person as responsible person okay so to do that so in order to add an additional wbs here you can just click on this plus button here okay and you can name the first stage as project start like right? project initiation initiation okay Okay, 
So now I will be assigning a responsible person for this particular stage. So here project manager has been assigned as a responsible manager. Okay. So here I am not having a particular field for adding the responsible manager. So what you can do is you can just right click here and go to customize columns, go to columns and you can just select a responsible manager. So that particular field will be added. From the list, you can select a particular person as the responsible manager for the stage. Okay. So the next stage is uh, receipt of information. Responsible person is project engineer. Uh, what about project code? Uh, WBS code? Like WBS code will be coming automatically based on the ID that you provided ID for you it. Uh, okay, okay, uh, okay. So based on the hierarchy, it okay. will be coming like AUM.1 like that one am.2 like that yeah okay. fine understood yes 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 receipt of information project engineer so in order to adjust the hierarchy you can use these arrows here okay Next is design stage, design engineer, Gita. Under design stages, uh, design stage, we are having two sub-stages like Preparation and submission and review and approval. Okay. Okay, so this I am deleting. Do you have any other uh, hierarchy list of works for uh, civil engineering, something like that? Uh, I just like this. Just uh, like this. Design stage, yeah. Something like building construction. Ah, yeah, okay. this is this is same as building construction. Oh, yeah. Are like all the this. stages coming uh, under building construction. But initially, while constructing an house or building, we will be starting in uh, PCC, like uh, Earthwork. Ah, yeah, that will be coming under civil. Like, oh, you are dividing that uh, into uh, various yeah. categories. Ah, okay, okay. Like, first, there will be design. like. Design stage. After that, only okay, the work, okay, okay, civil okay. works will be starting, right? Sure, sure. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Under design stage, we are having preparation and submission. Okay. So allocating project design stage. Preparation and submission. Okay. Civil draftsman. Preparation and submission, you are putting civil draftsman. Okay. Like drawings. Civil drawings. Okay, okay. Then review and approval. Project engineer. The next stage is uh, work site facilities. Site engineer Binoy. Next, we are having civil works like responsible manager is site engineer. Okay.
under civil works we are having different sub stages like side work and grading foundation brickwork like that okay first one is side work and grading okay Site supervisor hashing. Foundation, site supervisor Maya. Brickwork site supervisor Sharon. Concrete site supervisor Hashim. Interior site supervisor Maya. The next year. Said Supervisor Sharon. Yes, we are having building services as the next stage. Get us from school person is side supervisor Sharon. On the building services, we are having different stages like mechanical, electrical, plumbing, and others. Okay. First one is electrical, side supervisor Maya. Next, mechanical side supervisor Hashim. Then, plumbing side supervisor Sharon. Finally, we are having uh, others. Okay, site engineer Binoy.
the everything will be taken care of by uh, site supervisors it's up like to most us. of the most of the site works will be okay, taken okay. care of by site supervisors okay 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 and at last we are having the landscaping landscaping site engineer be not Yes, sir. Are you finished or? Yes, I am doing last one. Uh, okay. Landscaping. Okay. Once again. And if uh, one second, one second. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if I want to add any level, like a uh, floor, the first floor, second floor, third floor. Uh -huh. like, in that case, how, how, how will I do that? I'm like, this is actually uh, stages, right? Okay. 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 Under uh, civil works, you can do that. Okay. Okay. Uh, these like, are the stages, right? The civil yeah, works yeah. is one stage and the uh, uh, stage. These are all stages. Under each and every stages, we will be adding activities. Okay. Okay. Understood. Understood. Yes. 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 So okay. in concrete, you will be adding so much activities. Ah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Different act there will be different activities coming under each and every stage here. Oh, these are stages. Okay, fine, fine. Okay. So after uh, completing the work, uh, work breakdown section, the next thing that you will have created, you will have to add activities to each and every stage. Okay. So each and every stage will be having different activities under them. Okay. As you can see here, the first stage is project initiation. Under it, we are having project start as activity. Okay. Under receipt of information, we are having three activities like building needs and requirements, site information, administrative and legislative, like that. At the design stages, also we are having different uh, activities like preparation of sketch drawings, architecture, preparation of report structure and MEP, identify, identifying the plans, design development, detailed design of architecture, detailed detail design of structure, MEP, like that. Okay. So, in order to add activities, what you have to do is you have to go to activities option here. You can go to project. Okay, project activities. Okay. Now the first activity is the project start. Okay. And here for each and every activity, you will be providing a particular duration. Okay. So actually, what you are actually doing here is that you, you are actually planning the project, right? Okay. So for each and every activity, you will be providing an expected duration. Okay. Like for project start, it's zero. Okay, so since it uh, since project start is a first activity, we will be providing this just as a starting point. That's why the duration has been given as zero. Okay. So in order to add an activity, you can just click on the add option here. Okay. So a window like this will be popping up, and you can provide an activity ID, whatever it is. So here you can provide a thousand as the first activity ID. Okay. So I'm providing the same itself, providing the activity name as project start. Clicking on next. Okay. Now you'll have to select the WBS under which this particular activity comes. Okay. WBS means stage. Project right? activity yeah. ID can be anything. Huh? Yeah, you, you can provide anything like can just provide thousand or a thousand mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, so all the following activities will be based on the first activity ID that you are providing. So if okay, you provide it should the, be like uh, in what sequence or like a thousand. If you are providing a thousand first, next activity it will be like a one zero one zero, or you can choose set it as a one zero one uh, a a one double zero one whatever. Oh, okay, for example, if I set A0001, then next uh, activity will be A002 or whatever it, it can be like. You can provide it as a 10 difference, one difference, two difference, whatever. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'll start with this activity. Activity name is Project Starter. 
yeah yeah first one is project start okay this uh, why we are doing this project start why we need to do like it is the it just show the project start just show, uh, show the start of the project okay start of the project okay, yeah okay. It, it is said a start milestone okay. okay okay it is just to indicate the project is starting that's it okay 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 so when you click on next uh, you will have to select the wbs under which that particular activity comes okay so it is actually coming under project initiation okay so from the list you will have to choose project initiation oh. okay you can okay. click on next and activities can be mainly classified as start milestone, finish milestone, and task dependent activities. Okay, so the first activity in a project is called as start milestone. Okay, so it is given just to indicate the start of the project. Okay, so the duration for start milestone will be zero. Okay, similarly, the last and final activity in a project is called as a finish milestone, and it is uh, added in order to indicate the finish of the project. Okay, that's why. Its duration also will be zero. Okay, so all other activities are called as task dependent activities. Okay, so the first one being start milestone, I am giving it as start milestone. Clicking on next. Okay, this and all you can skip. Okay, you can finish. So the first activity has been uh, added. Uh, last, uh, we are. Uh, it is asking, would you like to uh, assign predecessor successor activity? No, no, that you can skip now. You okay. can assign later. Next, next. Next okay. and finish. finish. Fine. Okay. So in order to add the second activity, click on this first mm -hmm. button again. So activity automatically coming as A1010 activity ID. Yes. And the next activity is uh, building needs and requirements. And it is coming under receipt of information. Okay. <clears throat> Building needs and requirements. So that is activity name. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Building and requirements. Okay. Next option will be we need to select the receipt. Huh? WBS. Uh, WBS is receipt of information. Okay. Click on next. Okay. Activity type should be task dependent, okay. Except yeah. start milestone and finish milestone, yes. all other activities are task dependent, okay. Okay, and whether we need to assign any resources, of no, 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 that will be uh, done later, okay. This, so, this you can see what you can do actually is you can just click on this do not show this wizard again option so that you can directly add the details here itself, okay. Okay, okay, so uh, now, that thing uh, asking duration type whether I should. Yeah, yeah. Duration here you'll have to enter. What is the expected duration? Like no, no. Uh, this asking in the window, like uh, when I'm selecting the next button, mm -hmm. uh, duration type, fixed duration of fixed duration of units, uh, something like that. That's all you can skip. Skip. If there is no option, like skip. Uh, okay, I'll go next, 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 next. Ah, uh, yeah. Highest uh, duration, highest mm -hmm. labor unit, or something like that. No, okay. no, no. You can click on next, 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 finish. Next, finish. Okay, okay, okay. Now you can check, uh, you can directly edit the duration here. Like before building needs and requirement, they have given as two days. Okay, you can enter the duration here. Okay. Okay. Now, as you can see here, these uh, two activities are not in order, right? A thousand should be coming. Uh, if it is not in order, what you can do is you can just click on this activity ID, so it will be automatically so sorted. If it is not coming in proper order, you can just click on this activity ID and it will be sorted. Okay. So as you can see, uh, in this particular uh, window, the layout has been set like this. Like at the top, we are having the auditor. That is the project name. And we are having the different uh, stage names. Okay, under we can see the activities right. Okay, so this particular layout is different actually. So in order to make the uh, layout same as that of this one, what you can do is you can just go to the layout option here. Okay, layout option. 
click on open would you like to save the changes to this layout that you can click on now and from the list you can select the classical schedule layout okay classical schedule layout apply okay now you can close it so the layout will be changed like this okay Yes, sir, have you done that? Uh, one second, one second. Uh, uh, I'm checking with the classical layout. Classical, classical schedule layout. Schedule layout. Yeah. There are so many layout, right? Earned value, uh, cost, budget. Uh, uh, you can uh, what about classic. the difference? Uh, why we are using this? Like uh, the appearance will be different and the fields will be different like that. Mm, okay. Apply, right? Directly apply or open? Yeah, yeah. Apply. Okay. Apply or apply. Okay, applied. Fine. Now you can close. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now we can add the next activity. Next activity is site information. Duration is two days. Yes. Okay. Click on this plus button. Oh, directly or adding there, it's a bar. Okay. Uh, you can directly adding. Okay. Okay, one second. Mm -hmm. Site information, okay. Two days. Okay. Next, administrative and legislative, five days. Administrative and legislative. Legislative, yes. Okay. Legislative. Next. Next activity is coming under design stage under preparation and submission. So first you have to select uh, preparation and submission and you can add activity. First activity is uh, preparation of sketch drawings architecture. Okay, the duration is two days. Next activity is preparation of reports, structure and MEP. Duration is two days. Structure and MAP. Duration is two days. Identify the plans one day. Design development, five days. Detailed design of architecture, four days.
two day, um, four days. Detailed is in our structure four days. Detailed design of MEP, 10 days. Budget estimation and resource planning, four days. What did you mention? Huh? The source planning. Source planning, okay. Okay, then next four one. days. Four days. Okay, submission of design uh, next year. One second, sir. Submission of uh, submission of the design one day. Design one day. Fine. Okay. In the last you want to huh? approval of the uh, submission of the rough budget one day. Budget. Now this data you created, right? You created or uh, Okay. So we have the rough budget. Okay. Okay. So the next activity comes under review and approval. The first one is design corrections three day. Review and approval. It's in corrections. It is. Next one is approval of the design one day. Approval of this in one day. And approval of the budget one day. Okay. So next activity comes under uh, worksite facilities. The first one is security fence, okay, one day. Temporary office, one day. Next, power bar electricity supply, two days. Next, 
means water connection one day. Install other facilities two days. So the next activity comes under civil works, okay. under civil works, under side work and grading. So first activity is side visit and clearance, duration is two days. Next activity is land survey and boundary line. Duration is one day. Then land leveling duration two days. Set out duration one day. Excavation one day. Grading one day. Excavation for foundation, two days. Okay, so the next activity comes under foundation. So the first activity is footing. Okay, duration is one day. Next, uh, next is shuttering for pillar concrete, two days. Two days. Pillar five days. Okay. 
then foundation concrete uh, one day. RRB three days. Basement two days. PCC one day. Sand filling two days. Brickwork. So the next activity comes under brickwork. Okay. So the first activity is install door frames one day. In, uh, initial brickwork six days. Install window frames one day. Brickwork up to Lindel, seven days. Brickwork up to Lindel, seven days. Brickwork up to the slab, 10 days. So the next stage is concrete. Okay. Under concrete, we are having steel works as the first activity. Steel works 15 days. Shuttering and scaffolding two days. Linder concrete one day. Remove shutters two days.
shattering for slab concrete two days slab concrete one day beams for days okay so the next activity comes under interior okay so the first activity is inner flooring six days Six days. Then inner doors, two days. Inner uh, patterns three days. Inner partitions three days. Okay. Inner partitions three days. Inner partitions three days. Uh, inner ceilings five days. Healing five days. Furniture arrangements five days. Paint and finishes eight days. Eight days. Okay, so one thing that I forgot to mention is that, as you can see here, all these are in days, right? Okay, so in order to see, in order to set the units, what you can do is you can go to edit, user preferences, time units, okay? That you will have to set it as day, okay? And you can turn show unit label so that it will be shown here, okay? For this also, durations format also, you will have to set it as days, okay? Pause. Everything you can see just like this. Okay. So you saw that, sir? Yeah, I've completed up to uh, inner partition. Yeah. So you you saw how to set the units. Okay. Go to edit. One second. One second. Last Go to edit. One. Uh, one User preferences. Hmm. I'll go to edit user preferences. Okay. Uh, from that, 
time units you have to change the unit of time as day fine 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 in day and you can turn on the share show unit label option so that you can it will be showing like five days three days otherwise it will be only showing numbers ah it is showing like this only yeah ah okay you are saying days are ah unit of time has to be in days yeah unit of time okay yes i done duration formats also in day okay for that also you will have to turn the show duration table option turn on the show duration yeah, when i do that uh, when i do that mm -hmm. uh, it's showing like only numbers just close it it's only showing numbers yeah it's only showing numbers so you have turned on the show unit label option for both unit format and duration yeah format. yeah i turned on the option one second i will okay. Yeah, I turned down the option also. Unit of time, days and days. Uh, so it's not showing. Ah, now it's okay. Okay, sir. Now it's okay. Paints and finishes eight days. Mm. Oh, last activity is paint and finishes. Ah. Paints and finishes, and uh, after that, other miscellaneous works three days. Paints and finishes. Three days, huh? Okay. Eight days, eight days. Eight days. Other uh, miscellaneous works, uh, two days. The next activity comes under exterior. Window installation three days. Oh, so so many are there, right? Um, yeah, I think empty? it's about to finish only up to this landscaping. Oh, okay. Is it possible we can do uh, do four uh, o'clock, right? Uh, uh, we can finish it by four o'clock. Okay, okay, okay. Window because the next step is uh, creating a relationship, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, you got to create the relationship between okay, activities. Okay, 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 okay. That we can uh, do within five to ten minutes. Oh, is it okay? Okay, okay. Um, First one is window installation, three days. Can you share the document once it is over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will definitely share. Okay, miscellaneous. Window installation, three days. Exterior door installation, two days. Mastering, ten days. Lasting ten days, ah. Yeah. Okay. Paint works eight days. Paint. Finally, other machine is ah. Paint works, uh, other miscellaneous works, two days. Okay. So, next activity comes under building services. First one is electrical. Okay, electrical slab piping, two days. Slab piping, two days.
program pipe in okay yeah placement of junction boxes two days okay Junction boxes. Wait for the junction boxes and next yeah, one. that's it. That's it. Next one is uh, wall piping five days. Wall piping five days. Next one. Oh. Placement of switchboards two days. Okay. Two days. Okay. Next one. Next. Uh, fixing of fixing, light. fixing of lights on the ceiling and wall. Fixing of lights on ceiling. And the walls. How many days are two? Uh, that I will tell you in one second. Okay. Four days. Four days. Okay. Next one. Installation of fan. Installation of fan, two days. Station of fans. Two days. Conduit, fixing one day. DB fixing. Okay. Uh, DB, what is mean by DB? Distribution box. Oh, distribution box. Okay. You are from electrical, huh? No, I am actually from mechanical department. <laughs> oh, mechanical. Huh? Yeah. Okay. And Vishnu is from electrical, right? Yeah, he is from electrical. And uh, mean uh, Sina from civil? Sina is from civil. Okay, okay, okay. I understood. Okay, next is wiring, five days. Oh, wiring. Okay. Wiring, five days. Uh, testing, testing and commissioning, commissioning, one day. Mm. If you have shared the document, it will be very easy for me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I will share computer that thing. Uh, Maybe. So should I share it now? Or uh, it's about to complete, right? There's no. Yeah, now only. Uh, two okay, it's okay. it's okay. It's okay. Okay. So next activity comes under mechanical. First one is HVAC equipment installation. Okay. HVAC. One day. Supply grill installation, two days. Power connection one day. Deck routing two days.
ടെസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് കമ്മീഷനിങ് വൺ ഡേ അഗൈൻ ടെസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് കമ്മീഷനിങ് ആ യാ അണ്ടർ എച്ച് യു സി അണ്ടർ മെക്കാനിക്കൽ ഓക്കേ 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 വൺ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഈസ് പ്ലംബിംഗ് Installation of plumbing fixture for days. next piping 3 days is there any connection between rivet and uh, uh, primavera is there any no connection? sir actually not oh, okay and you are uh, ending this thing under this uh, bim topic yeah yeah like this is what we use for uh, if you are creating a model in uh, rivet you can okay. actually create the plan for construction in primavera that's what the connection is not like you can export something from revit and uh, in export ah, anything yeah, in between primavera and revit oh, oh, no, we no, will that. be so if we have any uh, set of activities from our project uh, everything we can load it uh, we can enter in the primavera we can sh- schedule it and yeah, this yeah. is different from uh, revit revit is all about modeling yeah, right yeah revit is all about mo- modeling this is all about project management okay and uh, this uh, fdp title is construction management in bim, in BIM. yeah with the project management how yeah, do you yeah. connect this thing uh, there like when you are uh, what we are actually doing in revit is we are uh, actually uh, creating the model of a particular building okay, we are going are to construct it. right yeah okay. you are doing then in pre- arrive we will be creating the model okay okay and the planning for construction of the mo- uh, model can be created in primavera the okay. same model for the same model we can actually plan uh, using primavera okay that's the connection okay. and one more thing uh, in bim there, there is a thing called 4d 5d something yeah like yeah that. yeah that's done using a different software called as navisux okay Navy uh, you people will tell that or yeah yeah, yeah. i think uh, there is a session coming on navisux right okay last session uh, Navi yeah Sox. i think last session is on navisux i okay, think one okay. second is, is there any connection between the previous uh, yeah yeah navisux? there will be connection between primavera and navisux you can actually oh. export export data from primavera uh, okay. to navisux so that you can create the 4d simulation okay 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 understood yes sir okay okay you okay. okay. can go on mm-hmm. yeah. piping uh next is testing one day okay next others okay first one is cctv installation one day fire extinguisher extinguisher installation one day testing one day okay lots of final uh, lots and final activities are coming under landscaping the first one is flooring 3 days next activity is uh, 
gardening four days plantation of trees four days Side finish two days. Last and final activities. Finish of the project. Okay, and we will be adding it as the uh, finish milestone. Okay, finish of the project. this particular activity will be indicating the finish of the project okay so in order to set the activity type for this particular activity you can come to general okay you can change the activity type as finish milestone okay so the duration will be automatically set to zero okay okay sir yeah, one second, one second. Uh, last mm. one is finish of the project. Finish of the project. Now we need to select that uh, task component into that uh, uh, thing, right? Like, okay. now you'll have to go to the general tab in the detail view. Okay. There you can change the activity type. General, okay, okay, okay. Understood. Activity type two. Oh, we need to milestone. finish milestone. Okay, okay, uh, okay. All the other activities are task dependent. The last yeah, one indicate the finish of the project be given as finish milestone and it consumes zero duration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It indicates just the finish that particular point. Oh, understood. Uh, understood. Okay, yeah, so, completed. so now yes. we have added all the activities in our project. Okay, so the next thing that you will do is you'll have to establish the relationship between each and every activities okay so we'll have to add the predecessor or the successor details okay so predecessor means if a and b are two activities if a is the predecessor of b that means that a activity will be happening just before activity b and successor means if a and b are two activities and b is the successor of a that means that B will be happening after completion of A. Okay. Okay. Now, in order to add predecessor and uh, successors, what we need here is that in the activity tab, we need fields like predecessor details, successor details like that. Okay. So, in our activity tabs, there are no fields like predecessor and successor. Okay. okay. So, we'll have to make some changes to this uh, filter option. Fields, yeah. Not no. filtered. You can go just columns. right click here. Yeah. Columns. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can just columns. right click here, go to columns, mm -hmm. and you can remove the fields that are not required, like remaining duration, schedule percentage complete, all of them. And you can add uh, predecessor as well as successor details from the list. Okay. So it will be present under the category list here. Okay. From this, you can add predecessor details and successor details. Okay, predecessor, successor. Details. Which one? Which category? Uh, this list. Uh, okay, list category. Predecessor. And predecessor successor. details and successor details. Oh, two things are there. Predecessor is there. Predecessor details is there. Okay. Oh yeah, predecessor details that we entered. Successor details. Fine. Okay, then. We are clicking on OK. So those fields will be added. Okay, apply. Okay. Uh, float is necessary now. Uh, float. Float is required. Like. How many days extra? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Like yeah, okay. for indicating critical activities. Yeah, yeah. Understood. Yes. Hmm. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So now we have to select the first activity, and we have to assign successor. 
okay we can do equity relationship in two ways okay either we can assign successor or either we can assign uh, predecessor okay so when you are assigning successor the predecessor details will be automatically coming okay so it will be convenient always convenient to add successors okay so okay. i'm selecting the first activity project start the successor for uh, project starts are uh, project starts are a1010 and a1020 that are building needs and requirements and site information okay uh, it means that uh... so after the after this particular activity the following activities are these two like building needs and requirements and site information and both are to be started simultaneously just after finishing project start that's what it means once again i will difficult okay so success are choose pandrom like the activity uh like uh, if a and b are two activities and b is the successor of a that means that b will be happening after the finish of a after finishing a we will be starting these two activities understood oh it means that uh, i'm choosing a, a success app like uh, 10 and 20 uh, uh, once this activity is finished completed, next yeah, one we will be starting uh, we will be oh, starting these starting two activities simultaneously, simultaneously we will be starting okay 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 understood okay understood okay so in order to assign successor for this particular activity Okay. in the detail view so this particular view is known as detail view there is a tab called as successes Successor. yeah and here you can click on oh, assign yeah. option okay and there will be a window popping up like this from this you can select the successor for the particular activity you okay. can double click on building needs and requirements and site information select yeah just double click okay. on that okay so both of them will be added here okay yes so here you can see relations right there are three kinds of relation between activities like fs sf start and start, SF. finish to start uh, ss means both like if there, there are, are four same, types right uh, like four types uh, start to start finish to start 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 finish start and start finish oh finish to finish is not there uh, I think uh, in Primera it's not there. In Primera there are only two, like these three activity relations. Three, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, this is not there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, start start means if we are assigning start start relationship, that means that all these three activities will be starting simultaneously. Yes. Okay. Finish start means uh, we will be One. starting this activity only after finish of this. Okay. Start finish means this activity has to be finished when this particular activity start. Okay, so SF we don't use usually. We'll be mostly using using FS and SS. Okay. okay. So here it is FS means we'll be uh, starting these two activities only after finish of this particular activity. So I'm assigning FS relationship here. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm assigning this uh, activity in relationship with that project. This particular activity. Oh, okay, okay. Finish to start. Finish to start. Okay. Now I'll have to select the second activity. It doesn't have any successor. Okay. Mm, yeah, successor. Yeah. Site information. For site information, the successor is A1030, which is administrative and legislative. Okay. Okay, but how do I decide that uh, whether right. this is done by the planning department? Which activity has to be uh, okay. done after finish of particular activity? Primavera itself uh, comes in a planning department, right? They will right. Be doing this. Uh, we will we we'll have to establish the relationship. Okay, after establishing the relationship, we can schedule it. Then we can so, understand how many days it will take to complete the project. We need to assign that in the beginning itself. Ah, yeah, Only yeah. then we will know, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Otherwise. How the software knows what activity comes first, what follows uh, other activities, other activities like that. Okay. 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 Yeah. Now, site information uh, is having uh, administrative and legislative. Okay. Yeah. So just double click on administrative and legislative. That's it. Then administrative and legislative is having. 
A one zero four zero. That is preparation of sketch drawings architecture. Okay. Once again, for site information, we are assigning administrative and legislative. legislative. For administrative and legislative preparation of sketch drawings architecture. Uh, okay, can you do it like uh, predecessor from predecessor perspective, something like that? No, no, you can either add predecessor or you can <laughs> add successor. Okay, okay. So when you add successor, predecessor will be automatically coming. Like yeah, both are just reverse, right? Just to want to cl clarify, when mm -hmm. we choose predecessor, uh, mm -hmm. whether it will come in successor, whether it will be same. No, 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 no. Like if A and B are two activities. A is the predecessor of B, right? B is the successor of A. That's the relationship. Okay, 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 okay. Because the successor and the predecessor set uh, same for me, then it's confusing uh, for me. Uh -huh. uh, so just uh, focus on successor. That's that's enough. Uh, just thinking of uh, one activity is completed, next activity is starting. So uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, it's like a predecessor. Success, it will be uh, successor will be easy to like. I think to, predecessor uh, is easy. I think predecessor. Predecessor uh, means like we'll have to add the activities just uh, coming before a particular activity, right? Okay, 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 okay. Successor. Okay, okay, okay. You can go ahead. Okay. Next one is preparation of sketch drawing architecture. Okay. So it is having successor as. Uh, a one zero five zero. That is preparation of report structure and MAP. Okay. Next activity is A one zero five zero. That is preparation of report structure and MAP having successor as A one zero six zero. That is identify the plans. Okay. Next, identify the plan. Having successor as A1070, that is design development. Next, design development. Okay. So, design development is having three successor A1080, A1090, and A1100, that is. Detailed design of architecture, detailed design of structure, and detailed design of MVP. That means that after this particular activity, all these three activities has to be started simultaneously. Okay. Eight zero nine zero and hundred. Okay. Architecture, structure, and MVP. Next. Uh, okay. So, detailed design of architecture and detailed design of structure is having no uh, successes. Detailed design of MEP having successor as A1110, uh, A1110 that is uh, budget estimation and resource, resource planning. Budget estimation and resource planning. So budget budget estimation and resource planning having successes as A1120 and A1130. That is submission of the design and submission of the rough budget. Yeah. For example, if uh, Vishnu, uh, if for example in design stage we have preparation and submission. Uh, mm. If a successor is uh, in the second stage, that is review and pro uh, proposal. There, we can assign like that uh, between like stages. What, sir? I, I didn't between stages, you. two stages, uh. like uh, review and approval, and uh, between review and approval and uh, preparation of submission, we are going in an order, right? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, we are going in an order. Uh, if it is not in order or something, we need we can uh, just like that. Like uh, budget estimation and resource planning, we are having submission of the design and submission of the rough budget, right? Uh, you know, I'm asking whether we can uh, give like approval of budget. The successor will be something here in the civil works or some somewhere in the down. No, no, we just cannot give random like. No, no, only, random. only if mm -hmm. required, can we do like that? Or, like that only is? if we can do that only if that particular activity can be started without finishing that. 
okay okay only when it is demands or uh, yeah yeah based on the demands we will be doing that okay so some activity can be started only after completing a certain activity right so yes, we can so as in that yeah. relationship mm -hmm. only if it's required uh, whether we can do or not um, yeah okay okay, okay. So the next activity, submission of the design having uh, no successor. Approval of the budget, A1170, that is security fence. Ah, how do you open that uh, window? Uh, this one? Ah, this one, right hand side, right hand side. Uh, in the software, you... This one? Ah, yeah, yeah. As open means like every time I'm assigning, clicking the assign. And no, no, no. You can no. You should not be closing it. You can just select it and you can choose oh, the. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Understood. Okay. 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 Successor uh, approval of the budget, right? Okay, approval of the budget having successor as A1170, that is security fence. Yeah. Mm, one second. Okay, I think we are in submission of the rough budget, right? No, no, no. No, no, submission, submission of, of the, budget is... of the design, okay. Mm. Submission of the design, okay, okay. Design. Submission of the rough budget having successor as design corrections, okay. Okay. Okay, design corrections. And the approval, sorry, no. design correction. Design correction having successes as approval of the budget and uh, approval of the design. Design, uh, okay. Okay. Next, approval of the budget having successor as security fence. Okay. Security fence having successor as uh, A1180, that is temporary office. No, temporary office having successes as uh, power and electricity supply and water connection. Okay, next water connection is having successor as uh, install other facilities. Okay. Uh, so can we undo? Uh, yeah, you can just click on control Z. Okay, fine, 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 fine. fine. Yeah. Undo Z. Mm. This completed. Okay, so the next activity uh, install other facilities. Okay, side having visit. successor side visit, side visit and clearance. Okay, okay. but uh, one my doubt is uh, uh, only when you sh uh, plan this using, I mean, you have created this document, right? PDF, yeah, document. yeah. Yeah. You're seeing this and you're doing, but in actual, how do we do? Uh, we will be planned everything in some yeah, yeah, we'll be first planning everything like the sequence of works, and yeah, you sequence of works and the various activities coming under that. Okay, okay, then, then we will can... be establishing relationship. Okay, 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 okay. After establishing relationship, we can uh schedule in primavera, like all the scheduling works will be done by. The software itself. We don't have to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, understood that. So, only the sequence of work I have done. Yeah, yeah, that will have to.
provide. Okay. Wow, maybe while estimating uh, that I can see. You can see. So, install other facilities, okay. Next, inside visit and clearance. Having successor as uh, land survey and boundary line. So all the upcoming activities are, I think, having the same relationship, like 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 6, 0, 7, 0, like that. Uh, for only brickwork, there is a big difference, I think. There will be some sort of, uh, 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 you know, brickwork uh, up to lintel and up to slabs. Uh, uh, there. Okay, so okay. we need to check uh, that alone uh, while doing that. Uh -huh. yes. Up to sand filling is the same, right? Sand filling. Up to, filling. I think, sand filling is the same. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We will complete this part. Is it about, uh, Station or I'll be okay. This means PCC sand filling. So next is sand filling. Uh, what do One second, have? sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For sand filling, it is uh, I see all right. Yeah, sand filling. So I think I accidentally added activity here that I am deleting. Oh, we can add the activity. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay. Oh, when you add, uh, what number it shows? Uh, what number? Like A one three six zero. Okay. Okay. No, but now <laughs> 70 is now, missing. Ah, 70 is missing. That's not an issue, sir. You can just not look at the uh, which activities mm -hmm. you can assign like that. Okay. 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 So install door frames. Uh, for install door frames, you are having uh, initial brickwork. Install door frame, initial brickwork. Initial brickwork, we are having uh, two successes. That is. Oh, that is initial. Ah. Yeah, yeah. I have written like install brickwork. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I, I'll just edit that initial. Initial brickwork. Brickwork, yeah. What, what do you mean by initial brickwork? What? Like, we will be just start. When I'm starting, we will be doing till the window, window frames and. Uh, windows frames can be established, right? Work, uh, we can just say brickwork. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, mm. Okay. Then after installing the window frame, we will be doing the rest of the brickwork till Linder. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Brickwork sixty. Yeah, okay. Brickwork. Initial brickwork. It is uh, install so install of window that. frames and okay. uh, installation of window frames and steel works. One second, sixty seventy. Okay. Mm. Then install window frame. Uh, having successor as uh, brickwork up to lintel. Window frame and steel works on. Uh, uh, after initial brickwork. Uh, install window frames and steel works. So, so initial window frames 80. So for the successor of window frame is brickwork up to lintel, right? Yeah, successor okay. of window frame, uh, brickwork window up to lintel. Yeah. 
Uh, from Vipro Control Limited, what is the success of? One second. Uh, okay. okay, for brickwork up to Lindel, the successor is. Shuttering and scaffolding for Linda. Oh, shuttering and scaffolding. Mm. Okay. Brickwork up to slab. After that, uh, brickwork up to uh, slab. After uh, B1240. After that, it will be shuttering of for slab concrete. After the big work up to the slab, we'll be starting slab congregating, right? Mm -hmm. So the next act will be shuttering for slab congregate. Mm -hmm. What about predecessor? Predecessor will be the just opposite relation, right? Brick work uh, up to not slab coming will be added. Uh, ah, if you ask whether it's possible for you, uh, uh, I couldn't be able to select them. What, sir? Uh, no, one I, one I, one when I'm selecting the uh, successor for brickwork up to uh, slab, uh, um, predecessor one, will not be coming. Predecessor uh, will, will be coming uh, only after you add it. Add other activities. Oh, okay, okay, other activities. Okay, okay, okay. Brickwork up to slab. Okay. Uh, so the next activity is the steel works. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Having no successor. Okay. Shuttering and scaffolding having successor as. Lindel concrete. Okay. Then Lindel concrete having successor as uh, remove shutters. Okay. So one thing that I forgot to say is that for Lindel concrete, here we are having a lag. Okay. Actually, for activities oh. like concreting and all, we can provide a lag. Okay. Come on, again, uh, lintel concrete, huh? lintel uh, concrete. For lintel concrete, we will be having a lag value. Like, it means that only after five days, the following activity has to be started. Okay. 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 So during, we will be providing some days for uh, during, right? Okay. So we can provide a lag here. Uh, how do you do that? Uh, one second. Oh, in the begin bottom. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, any number of days we can select, right? You need like four days or how three many, days. How many, how many days it is required for curing? We'll have to provide that as like. Okay, okay, okay. Understood. Six days. Five days. We are providing five days here. Okay. It depends then, on the project. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Then remove shutters having uh, successor as uh, brickwork up to the slab. This one. A1190. Brick work up to the slab. <coughs> then shuttering for slab concrete having successor as 250 and 260. Slab okay. concrete and beams. Slab uh, concrete and beams. Oh, one second. For remove shutters, what are, what are the successor? Remove shutter. Remove shutter successor is. Uh, uh, successor is. One one nine zero. So just don't look at the numbers, sir. There can be differences, like. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sir. Work up to the up to slab. Uh. Slab, yes. Brick work up to the slab. Yeah, understood. Now, okay. Whether we can finish it uh, by today, four o'clock. Mm. Yeah, I think so. You understood the procedure, right? Yeah, understood can, completely. Understood. Yeah, yeah. You can you just see, add. It's quite lengthy to enter everything. Uh -huh, you know, yeah, yeah. Taking some time.
So once okay, you so, give this document, you can ask. Ah, uh, you can finish it. I will share the documents. Okay. Yeah, so sure. after adding all these details, we can actually schedule the project. Okay. Only after scheduling, we will be able to know that what on what particular date a particular activity has to be started, okay. and on what particular date it will end, like that. Okay. Yes. Yes. So in order to schedule, you can go to the schedule option here. Yes. Schedule. Okay. So. Here you will have to enter the start date for the project as current data date. Okay. So on what particular date you are about to start the project, you can provide as a current data date. So we have already provided that at the start when we added the project, right? Like we provided a planned start date for the project. So that date you can add it here. So it will be automatically coming, and you can click on the schedule option. So the project will be scheduled based on the relationships that you have established okay so now you can see uh, what is the total time that will be taking to complete the project so based on the relationships we have provided it will be taking 105 days to complete the project and the project will be starting on 1st april 2022 and will be finished by 8th august 2022 okay so the scheduling will be done based on the calendar that we have set we have set the calendar as a uh, 6 day work week calendar as a default calendar okay so the scheduling will be based on that particular calendar that we uh, selected okay hello sir uh, yeah 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 i yeah, understood That's so uh, will you continue in the next session no the next session is on uh, i think navy six right uh, I, this part is over uh, yeah yeah this part is over right over oh yeah And uh, you tell me whether we need to assign any resource. Like uh, resource assignment is coming under next class. Other than other cake, right? Like next class, you will continue. Uh, uh, maybe it will be me. Uh, I think. Okay, sir. Let me check with the organizers. Okay. okay. And uh, then I will be letting you know. Taking, they will take. Uh, I mean, they will continue with this. Ah, uh, continue uh, with the resource part. resource assignment oh, okay, okay. for dissemination and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because. Uh, If you move on to next chapter, then it will be difficult. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. So in, okay, in the next class, you will be continuing, right? Ah, uh, mostly it will be ah. Uh, you ask for someone else. Uh, that I will be telling you, sir. I yeah, will have yeah. to ask them. Sure, sure. Okay, okay. okay And can sir. you send that PDF? Uh, yeah, that I will be sending it now itself. Okay. You know my mail ID, sir? So can I send it by WhatsApp? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. I will be no, sharing. No, if it is mail now, then it will be easy to. I mean, ah, okay, final, okay. Uh, then, then the can you? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then you can uh, send your mail ID to my phone number, sir. So I will be sending. Can I put it in the chat box? Or? Ah, you can say put it in chat box. Yes, I have done from my side. Okay. Okay, one second, sir. Okay, I will send it by now itself. Okay. A B A B J Vignesh A A B J Vignesh at. Um, svce dot ac dot in yes ac uh, dot in okay yes 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 i have sent a um, uh, whatsapp also i check okay on. okay sir i am sending it now it's all sir one second mm. Okay, sir. I have sent it. Send down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One second. I will check. Okay.
Yeah, I received, received them. Okay, sir. So, can I wind up the session for today, sir? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Thank you, thank okay, you. Okay, so thank much. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.